hello everyone and welcome to technical voice so in this video we will see how we can download a zip file uh, in web api so there are many cases where we need to return a single file or download a single file so it is uh, very easy to uh, return a single file or download a single file from web api but there are cases where we need to return multiple files so we can return the urls uh, of the uh, files uh, in a list of string but we cannot return uh, multiple files at once from the web api so in order to do that what we do is we uh, save our files in a single folder or directory and then download that particular folder uh, as a zip file to return the multiple files so let's see in action how we can do it so i have a, a project in uh, .NET 5 let me show you as you can see uh, the target framework is .NET 5 so uh, and also i have a folder where i put some uh, dummy files in country they are txt files you can put excel word and whatever according to your need and i have one controller file controller and i have also added one file service okay so let's see how we can achieve uh to download the multiple files as a zip okay so let's create uh, a method let's say it will return the tuple and it will return the file type and it will be another one with bytes uh, let's call it archive data and the last one would be the archive name okay and let's name it download and uh, let's take the directory name where our files are okay now next thing would be uh, let's get the files and uh, our files will be in directory get files and um, let's say path dot combine we can also do uh, let's say um, i web host environment environment and let's take environment okay so this will be used to get the path and it would be environment dot content root path okay and the next would be the directory name and in the last let's say the two list okay and next would be to create a memory stream memory stream and uh, let's create the archive and we will use zip archive okay and we will use the memory stream and then we are going to create the zip archive modules create okay and then let's uh iterate our files okay so we have files in the file and file and let's say archive dot create entry from the file okay and let's say our file is here and then yeah 
block file name in here is the block file so that's it all about this method and now we need to return three three things and that our return so we are returning the uh, file type would be the application application zip and then the memory stream memory stream oh we need to put this in here memory stream dot to array and then last thing would be the uh we can let's create a file file name let's say technical voice of a channel name and let's say this would be the final method. so this is all about this method and let's go into our api controller and here we will create a uh, action method that will uh, return the zip files okay so let's do it public i action result download file and let's say new file service okay it requires you can do it you, uh, you can inject the file servers file server the dependency injection but for now we are saying that it's the host environment environment Dot no not zip and our files are in my files. My Okay, that's it. And your response. And we can also let's say do it like this. Let's say the file type bytes and file name and return file file type file uh, bytes and last would be the file name so i'm saying that um, i think it should be like this yes this is fine and let's say http get and uh, let's name it download file and let's run it okay so swagger is implemented for this and let's see So let's try it out execute and it returns the file okay and let me download and it just download and if i open it you can see okay
so it is this is empty let's debug it why it is empty and uh, let me put a debug point and uh, see why it is empty okay it's getting this is the root path oh i think this is the mistake i think we should do like this yes i think this will be fine let's try it again Try to go execute download file. Now you can see all files in this the folder. So this is how you can download multiple files or download a zip file from the web API. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.